Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our POS system. This is the last part of our POS system. So now guys, in this video, we are just going to design the front end side and also we are going to store the uh, live link of Bootstrap CSS code into our local, okay? Basically in your application. So now guys, let's get started first with the designing. So let's move to our editor. And now guys, let's go to our index.php. And now guys, here we will be adding one simple background image. So directly you can type like background image URL function. Inside that you call the path. So guys, I have already stored that in the asset folder images folder or pusbg.png file. Okay. So let's call that assets folder forward slash images forward slash pos hyphen bg dot png that's it guys and also add the background size so background hyphen size colon cover and then instead of margin top let's make it top and bottom that is my add a py5 padding top and bottom 5 and text should be in center that's it and now guys any message or error you face you need to show that so you can use that php alert function so alert message function which we have created it and yep let me add a class here margin top three and now guys this login button should be conditionally so you can open php close php use a if condition not if it is set underscore session not server session of logged in so i hope we have stored this value only let's go inside the login code dot php yep so let's copy this variable and paste here and give a colon here guys and start the php and the php and end this if condition that's it so now guys let us get back and refresh here perfect and let me log in and see admin at gmail.com for okay i put a wrong password two three four five six we have logged in let me go to the front end side on the new browser here you see that login button is not there because because we have given the condition okay and now guys let's see what all things are there inside this header.php so let's go inside includes folder here from the index we go to includes and header.php okay so here you find that our bootstrap cdn link so if you want you can keep directly or else you can just download this css i mean css code of this bootstrap and integrate in your application so let me just give you a demo over here. Yep. So copy this bootstrap name. Go inside the asset. Create one folder named as CSS. And inside that CSS paste this file name. Okay. Bootstrap min.css. And now guys just do control A, control C. Copy it. And get back to your editor. Paste inside that bootstrap CSS file. And at last you'll be getting this guys so you just need to remove that or else you'll be getting warning in your console when you inspect your browser now let's close this and you have to add it here directly so we are inside assets folder css folder then bootstrap min.css and we do not read this integrity or cross origin as simple and if you want to write custom codes, so just add styles.css. Just go inside the styles or just add style.css itself. Let me copy that and paste here. And now guys, whatever you have coded here, like doing the inline CSS part, you can just use this in a class. So what we'll do, we'll tell um, main POS BG. So let's get back to our styles.css main pos bg open and close curly brace paste the code that's it and make sure it is going one step back and moving inside the images 
so you just need to go one step back and we are inside that images and then go into that background image now get back refresh perfect so no changes guys everything works fine so this is how you can implement i mean add all your custom css codes done and now guys let us get back to the footer.php so here also you have all the live cdn you can just download them and keep inside your folder so let me create one js folder here get to the browser paste the cdn link okay so we create a file with that name jquery 3.7.1 control a control c copy get back to your editor paste it that's it now you need to copy this file name and paste here so where we are inside the assets folder slash js folder and then your jquery file so same guys you have to paste for this bootstrap bundle file so let me paste it we have got this create a file name so right click js bootstrap bundle min.js now control a control c copied and paste here and in the bootstrap bundle you'll find at the js map so just remove that otherwise you'll be getting warning inside your console of your browser so yep let's copy this file name and paste that inside assets js and here we go and you do not require this let's remove all this unwanted line that's it guys now we get back and if you see everything is smooth okay so we go back home so guys this is the last part and this is the end of pos system in php mysql so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share